What's going on? It's your boy Rock Dog, aka Rock Shop Experience. Um, I sell on eBay, Amazon. I have an eBay store. Um, I am a reseller. I've been reselling for about a year. I quit my job. Uh, you know the story. Everybody has pretty much the same story. They get tired of the you know everyday grind, and then they just kind of can you know convert over or whatever you want to call it into reselling is something that they like. I really enjoy it, so here I am. Anyway, I'm going to get into this haul video. I went to this place called Abundant Blessings. I've been going there for a couple weeks. I went there on on Friday. Friday they have half off day and they have quarter and dollar items on racks. And it's pretty awesome. We're going to get right into this haul video because I got to list a lot of this stuff. Um, I got a couple ties to show you. They are both the same. I just realized that last night. They are Stephen Harris. Stephen Harris. Two dollars a dollar. I got this tie. It's a pretty neat looking tie. Um, for, a for a buck you can't pass it up. You know, it's another another one, another Stephen, Stephen Harris. I was looking at them. You know, they're just regular ten dollar ties, but whatever. If you can take a dollar and, and you know, make six, seven dollars off of that dollar, you know, you, you already won. So, I got a couple hats. They are brand new. Um, they were sitting on top of where the clothes were, and I looked at them and I seen the prices. I believe they're. This one was a dollar half off. It's a little still hat, and these aren't too bad. These are like fifteen bucks on on. Uh, they don't have the tags on them. I might have actually been able to sell them on Amazon, but they do have the paper inside. Um, that kind of gives the indication of them not being worn. So I got that one, and I got a NASCAR one. This one is just a plain one. I noticed that a lot of the ones that are selling are the ones that, you know, like Tony Stewart, whatever, etc. Um, but this is just a regular plain. Still got the paper inside. See the paper. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. I got these. I was actually going to just keep these for myself. They are not vintage. They're just regular Nike, but they're pretty cool. They got... They're just swimming trunks. They got the little swoosh in the, you know, they got a little pocket in the back, whatever. And uh, they're extra large, so they might fit me. I'm a large. I'm getting a little fatter now, you know. I'm drinking all that soda and and uh, let's see what else we got. We I did get a mouse. It was a couple bucks, two seventy five. It was half off, so can't beat that, you know, dollar fifty, whatever, dollar forty something, whatever. And uh, I did look at the sales ranks on Amazon, and there isn't isn't any sales ranks at all. So I kind of mis misread. You can kind of misread it if you don't have the um, if you don't have the FBA app where you pay the 9.99. It is a lot help more helpful. And um, I kind of probably be sitting on this for a while, but it is new. It's in the box. I only paid a dollar or something for it. So if worse. I can put it on eBay if it doesn't sell on Amazon. We'll let it sit. I did, I think it was like 30 bucks or something. But this was actually something that I just got. I I, I shop too much. But uh, anyway, I thought it was really dope. I got it at, um, I got it at the Goodwill. And they actually did have a sale. Goodwill doesn't really have sales a whole lot, except for um, a lot of them do Wednesday, but they don't. They hardly ever do half off anymore. They kind of just do like tag, red tag, yellow tag, whatever, 25%. A lot of times they don't do 50% anymore. That's why I go to Community Aid and places like that where um, Salvation Army where they do half off. Or I'll go to the bins every now and then. When I'm, when I'm low on inventory, I'll go to the bins and I'll get 50 pounds. But uh, anyway, it is, let's see if I can get the... Come on, which side is it on? This side, there it is. Can we get the tag so you can see it? Harley Davidson, but here it is right here. Man, this lighting is horrible, man. I got I got to do something about that. But boom, look at that. Look how big that patch is on the back. That's just like, it is dope. It, it almost looks like kind of like maybe like a bowling shirt or something, but it is really dope. 
Um, it's got a couple little flaws with it, you know, no holes, just a couple little, you know, little spots, nothing major. Um, I did pay, I think it was half of like eight, it was like four bucks. So, or no, it was 25% off. I think I might have paid maybe four or five dollars for that. I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm probably going to get between 30 and 40 for that. Um, I got to get it listed. It's not listed yet, but it will be. And let's see, independent, independent. This is actually a, a child's hoodie. It doesn't have the string. It's missing the string, but there's nothing else wrong with it. It does, bam, it has the independent on the sleeve. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, can we get the camera? My camera's right there. There it is, independent, all right. And it has the independent on the back right in the back bam so it does have some heavy embroidery on it so I may be looking at like 20 bucks so it was a thumbs up so it was probably a quarter or a dollar so you can't beat that I can probably get 20 bucks for this it's a skateboard independent trucking um, independent trucks they make the the trucks for the skateboards I know because I used to skate um, Let's see. Anytime I see a jean jacket, I always grab them because some some of them do sit for a while, but they will sell eventually. I did get this jean jacket. I believe this is a girl's jean jacket. All the ones that I was looking, this is Children's Place. It is a really good brand. It does have a name on it. Um, it does have writing, which I will indicate in the, in, in the description. Um, but it is nice. It doesn't have any stains on it. Just a regular jean jacket. Probably like 10 bucks, whatever. You know, these are dollar items. You know, some of them were a quarter, so I, I just wasn't going to pass that up. I spent 40 bucks, and I got like three bags of clothes. Last time I spent 20, I got two bags. So, I mean, I got some scrubs. They are pretty big. They are, I believe they're an extra large. Anytime you see scrub bottoms, scrub tops, if you can get them under a buck, grab them, because you're going to make $10, $15 off of scrubs. Um, they always sell. These are white. There is no stains on them. I, I looked them over really good. I guess this is a this is a decent brand. It's uh, what does it say? See the camera's not where I need it. I need to put it in a different area. What is that? Rose, Los Angeles Rose. Anyway, they're pretty nice. They're long too. They're not like real real short. But um, here's another pair. I got another pair of scrub scrub bottoms. Um, these are unisex scrubs, SB, they're small, so, you know, they might sit for a little bit, but they're blue, they're in pretty good condition, I don't see no stains or nothing on them, they're good to go, I, I always grab scrubs anytime I see them, these, I actually thought that they would be worth a little bit more, they're Adidas, they're just, they're Capris, women's, Capris, Adidas, they're pretty nice. They're in good shape. There's no stains, no holes. Fifteen bucks. Um, like I said, all these items are like a quarter or a dollar. Some items I did pay up for. I will show you those items in a couple minutes. These are Bill Blast. Not a very popular, not a very popular brand, but whatever. Like I said, you know, they were only. I think I took the tag off of these. These were definitely a quarter or, or a dollar. So, can't beat that. They're nice. They're bigger size. They're plus size, so plus size is good. Easier to sell. Um, I did pick these up. I did pay a little bit more for these. These are the Evan. They are the David Byton, I believe. Is it Byton? Bitten? Byton, maybe? Um, these are the Evan. The Evan design, and they're really, really good condition. They're a little smaller than I would like them to be, but they do really good. I was looking at the comps on these, and they're like $30, $40. Like, these jeans are no joke. Um, I did pick up in my early times. When I first started selling on Amazon, I thought you could just put anything on there, and it would sell, and it doesn't work that way. And I went to TJ Maxx, and I bought, I bought a pair of those, and I bought a, a, a Ralph Lauren Polo. When you know you can just go to TJ Maxx and buy them for thirty dollars, people are not going to buy them for thirty dollars on eBay. It just ain't happening. So it's still sitting. That the same shirt. Now, if I dropped it down to fifteen dollars, brand new 
with tags, it would sell. But um, I'm trying to get my money back since I did pay 25 bucks for it. I overpaid, which I don't do anymore if I can help it. But these, these should bring about 30 bucks. They're in really good condition. They're almost new. So we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. And these are the new, the new brand I've been hearing so much about, Page. Okay, these didn't look like they sell for that much. Oh yeah, that's my boy back there. That's that's Muscle Man right there. Um, my, I wish mine looked like that. They don't look like that no more. No. Okay. Um, make sure that when you pick up designer jeans. Um, whoops shaking the whole world right there um, make sure that you look at them and you know I know I can tell when, from the feel of most designer jeans that they are real you can tell they're usually made out of really high quality denim really soft real you know you can I can just tell right away but I always do check I always do look at the tags a lot of them will have you know, a specific size um, type of tag in certain areas. They'll have little silver stitching. You know, there's all types of things with all types of jeans. Do your research before you list something because I screwed up in the beginning and I put something on that was not authentic and you will get a strike. Um, three strikes and you're out. So you don't want that to happen. But we're going to try these out. I haven't tried to sell page yet. Um, I have like Earl jeans, a lot of women's jeans. Um, my Earl jeans are still sitting. Three pairs. They're just not very popular. They're really nice. They're really, um, they are embellished with um, jewels and everything else. They look really cool, but they're just not selling. These, I mean, I just can't pass this up for a dollar, you know. They were three fifty, so it was half of three fifty, so a dollar seventy-five. I thought they were really, really cool. They are celebrity pink, and some of them do pretty well. I don't know how well. I can't get this camera right because of where my seat is. Let me see if I can get my seat to go up. No, I think that's it, man. That's all she wrote. Anyway, um, for a dollar seventy-five or whatever, you know, I figure I can probably get twenty bucks for these because they are pretty unique. They are really cool. Somebody out there is gonna really want these. Um, they're really nice. There's no stains. Um, they're good to go. They're clean. So, I mean, I get a lot of clothing, and if it doesn't need to be washed, then I don't waste my time and wash it. I can tell that something is dirty. It, it will smell or whatever. Some people wash everything when they get it um, because of, like, bed bugs and things like that. And um, I usually do wash almost everything, but like I said, some things you can just tell they're just really clean. A lot of places that you'll go to, they wash everything. Goodwill usually washes all their clothing. They don't just put dirty clothes on the rack. So unless you go to like the bins or yard sales or something like that, then you have to wash, you know, almost everything you get. So with that being said, let's see, let's dig into this haul video a little bit more. We're getting a little bit, I'm going over the time I wanted to spend on this video, but here's the suit. It's just a regular, it's pretty nice. It's like a Glenn check. Let me see if we can get a good, a good look. Nah, my camera's just horrible, people. I'm sorry. I'll have to get a better camera. It's just a regular Glenn check really really nice I looked at it there's not a there's not a mark on it it is actually it stays cool um, it's a little it's real thin really nice suit um, I only paid five bucks for it so I try not to pay more than that for a suit unless it's like Ralph Lauren purple label or something which is the highest end of Ralph Lauren it's like really high end like Gucci you know like you if you see it if you see a Ralph Lauren purple label suit shirt you know grab it, you know, because it's going to bring you some good money. I found two of them, and they were defective. Um, they had issues on the inside and little things here and there, and they still sold for really good money. So, and I picked them up $12 a piece. I spent $24 on both of them, and I did really well with those suits. So, let's see. I got to get that suit listed tonight. I got to stop procrastinating, but did pick up a couple more 
jackets because it's that time of year, people. Get ready for, for fall and winter. It's coming, man. It'll be here before you know it. Columbia. Very nice. It is a 2X. Extra, extra large. Very nice. Very soft. Um, it's a beautiful coat, man. So, we'll see. I'm going to get this listed. I did pay a little bit up for this. This was half of $11, so that's $5.50. I'm probably going to ask about 40 bucks for this jacket. Somewhere between 30 and 40 I think I would be losing money if I didn't ask a decent price because this is a really nice jacket, and it's Columbia. Columbia does sell. It's not a sweater. It's a coat. So, you should do pretty well on that. I, I probably won't take less than 30 for it. But, Timberland. I'm not sure if this is old, if this is vintage. But it's got the nice hood. It's got the it's got the over piece. I'm not sure what this is called. This little duck, you know, little duck bill at the top. But um, I'm not sure if that tag is. It's weather gear, Timberland weather gear. But anything Timberland, I mean, I usually do pretty good with. Sometimes the shirts take a while to sell, but I think this coat will sell pretty good. I just sold a Timberland coat not too long ago. And if it was my size, I might keep it, but it's not really my, my color green. It'd be nice if it had a big old dookie Timberland on the back, but it doesn't. So we'll see. Um, maybe 30 or 40 for this, too, as well. We'll see. I did pay up for this. This was... $12, so I paid 6 So 6 bucks for a Timberland coat. I mean, you can't beat that. There's probably over 100 new. Um, let's see. Trying to keep that out of the camera because I don't want to get hit up. Because I ain't sponsored by them. But anyway, I'm not going to unfold them. I already have them folded. They're already listed. Um... I usually pick up polos only when they're big size and they're in really good condition, but here's one. It's a it's kind of like a like a beige tan. It's an extra large, it's just a short sleeve polo. Um fifteen, eighteen dollars, something like that. Don't expect to get rich off of Ralph Lauren, but you will they will sell. Okay. This is really, really awesome. This is a Salem Sport gonna have to open this up Ellard I did look him up and uh, he did play for the st. Louis Rams for 10 years um, that's a pretty long time I believe it was like 90 to you know to when that whatever he played but this has the stats and everything on this is really cool there's nothing on the back but this is from 1990 let's see what is it it is not 1990 okay 1990, and I'm auctioning this. This is actually on auction, new with tags. Okay, this is 27 years old. We'll see if there's any fans out there that really want this shirt, but there's no stains, there's nothing wrong with it, and we'll see how, how well that does. I got a Tommy. It does have splits on the just a regular Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. There we go. Tommy Hilfiger. Um... It's just a plain blue. It's got the crest on the. It doesn't have the, you know, the, the color. It doesn't have no color block or anything special. Just a regular Tommy. But it does have slits. A lot of times when you get polos, you want to look at the shirt tails. These little things right here. I'll unfold it. I'll just fold it back. You do want to look here because a lot of times they'll be like that and they'll be ripped because I guess they kind of they get the most, you know, they take a beating in that area. I guess I'm when they're when the shirt's 20 years old, you know. It's just going to happen, I guess, but they really made these really good, really good quality heavy heavy weight. So, I probably won't get that much. I might take a loss on that, but I think it was only a couple bucks, maybe a dollar. I'm not sure. I I think I actually got that off the dollar or the quarter rack. So, I'll make my money back on it. I'll probably make a couple bucks off it, but I'm not going to get rich. No boundaries. This is like Walmart stuff, but it's a jean jacket. It's really nice. It has the buttons on the inside, so I'm guessing that there was fur. I seen one 
um, when I was looking the comps up and everything, there is one with the fur in it, so, but it had fur in the sleeves too, so I don't know if it was like an insert, whatever it is, but I will list this without the faux fur. By the way, people, F-A-U-X, it is faux, not false, or not fake. Faux fur is how they pronounce that. Um, okay, and... This is actually a shirt I got a long time ago. This is a really good brand. It's called um, Moschino, I believe is how it's pronounced. Made in Italy. Cheap and Chick. I believe there's other there's other lines of it, but um, they do really well. They're they're really expensive. Like a t-shirt is like you know resale value like thirty dollars. You know maybe more. Up. Oh, I lost my screen. My mouse timed out given up on me. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to probably fold these back again, but I did pick this up as well. This was like a quarter. This was a quarter. Valerie Stevens. Now, I, there is another one just like it. It is petite. It's 100% silk. There is the, the top. You know, I will pick up women's clothing if I can resell it. You know, this is like going to the bins, going to this place almost. So here's the bottom. It's actually just a skirt, but it's 100% silk. So I just sold a silk outfit. I, I don't remember if it was Chick. Well, I forget the brand that it was made by. But it was really no, it was Bobby. I believe it's like B O B E E or something like that, Bobby. But um, I got a couple bucks for it. But this was a quarter dollar something like that. I took the tags off because I already listed them. So. I don't remember if they were a quarter or a dollar, but J. Crew, women's J. Crew does pretty good. It has like ruffles around the collar and on the sleeves. It's a long sleeve button front. Um, it's an extra large, a good size. So I believe I just converted this over to, I changed it over to auction style. So it was running um, fixed price. Another scrub top. Whenever I can get scrub tops, I believe there was another. I thought there was a couple more. I thought I had another. I think it was just the scrub bottom. This was the only top I got. This was... This is Cherokee. They actually do really good. Cherokee's pretty good. Not too bad. Cherokee workwear. Just a regular... Man, my lighting is horrible. I have a light here. I have a nice lighting kit, but it just doesn't work for that. It's just... It sucks. But anyway, that... that um concludes my haul video. Oh, no it doesn't. I'm lying. Oh, here's my shoes that I redid. Gotta love them. Still, I think they got wet and I can't get the smell out of them. Everyone is insisting that they don't smell like they've been wet. You know, like that moldy smell. But I smell it and I may not list these if I cannot get that smell out of these shoes, but they won't fit me because they are a 12. They are Breathe Right. They are vintage. Um, but they came out pretty good. I do my own shoes. I watch Tino, the Soul Advisor. I watch all his stuff. Shout out to Tino. Him and Rockstar Flipper and, you know, all them, all the, the guys that, are, that motivate me and mentor me through their videos. And they will you too as soon as you start doing what I'm doing if you're not already. I did pick up some, I did go to the library today, I've been, I dropped my stuff, stuff off at the post office and there was a library below the building and it was never open and today I seen two people coming out of it, <clears throat> so I said, you know what, I said, is it open? They said, yeah, it's open, so I went down there and what do you know, they're having a library sale and they do all the time, so, and I asked the lady if, I did pick up a book too. It is selling for a ridiculous price on Amazon. It will sell for 40. Um, it's just I try to pick up like college books, school books. Those are the books that really sell. Um, if you want to sit there and scan books all day, you know, knock yourself out. Get the get the app. Get the Amazon app. It's you know really really helpful. Reezy resells. You know he's. Uh, big into that and he has the scanner for his phone and he just boop 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 and it's so quick and that's just you know you know he's doing big things and that's what I want to be doing and I want to learn more and I want to be doing big things I don't want to be 
I want to climb the success ladder. I don't want to be stuck at the bottom, man. This is the whole idea is to do something better with your life and achieve goals that you want to achieve and you just have to make like me I'm slacking I know I am and I really have to just step it up step my game up but um anyway on another note I did pick up one two three four five six seven seven blu-rays and I have some actually on I can't sell them on Amazon because I'm not ungated and I could get ungated if I pay the forty dollars a month but I am not paying the forty dollars a month right now so that's out of the question. So I'll, these will go on eBay. I might even put these, you know, who knows, maybe on another another site. But they were only a dollar a piece, so I jumped on them. I did scan them through Amazon. Most of them are twelve dollars or more. So we'll see how these do. I'm going to list them right now, and I will see you when I'm looking at you. When I'm not really looking at you, but you're looking at me. Um. And. Keep on listing, keep on sourcing, you know, don't stop, won't stop. You got to have that mentality to where you want to hustle, hustle, hustle and keep going because once you start slacking, I get in a funk sometimes because I work from home and you can sleep whenever you want and but you, you have to really, you know, nip it in the bud and you have to, you know, get down to brass tacks eventually and work. So... I'm going to get some stuff done tonight. I have a lot of stuff on my computer, a lot of drafts saved, and I'm going to get to that, and you will get to what you're going to get to. Hopefully, um, somebody would light a fire under your butt and get you moving. That's what they need to do with me, and that's what I'm going to do, and I will see you later. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Success is right around the corner. You can do it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like. Um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. God bless. Blah, 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 blah.